was having first communions in the parish and the bishop came to do the first communions. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's always a test on the priest, but he wanted to question the children. Yeah. So, so the bishop asks, what is the meaning of the Eucharist? And he goes to the kids and this, this girl raises her hand and she said, the exit sign. You know, this is a test on the priest, not on the children. The bishop looked at me and I look at the floor like you guys. When I ask you a question, you look at the floor. Yes, I started looking at the floor and, well, the bishop said, maybe I need further explanation. So the little girl rose her hand again and she stood up and said, we receive the body of Christ in the Eucharist to become the body of Christ, and we leave under that exit sign. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The living bread of Jesus gives us grace of nourishment, guidance, endurance to be transformed to be transformed individually and communally. And we are transformed into Jesus himself. To go out, to be part of the world. As we are united with Jesus Christ in the Eucharist, we are to be dedicated to proclaim, serve, and witness to the reign of God. Fully with our head, with our hearts, and with our hands. Let's never limit Jesus and communion to only hear. Let's take Jesus to that exit sign. May God bless you. Amen. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. For him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. <clears throat> he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. United as Jesus Christ's body, 
we offer our prayers to the Father. The church leaders throughout the world be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil authorities work effectively to provide adequate food, work, and shelter for all. Let us pray to the Lord. That in the Lord's holy church, the spirit may continue to grow, prosper, and bring people to faith. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Holy Spirit may help all gathered here to grow in our devotion to the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. That all organizations who work with the homeless and disadvantaged will be supported in their work of bringing Christ to all. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who struggle daily with addiction will be filled with the peace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick, especially Father Fernando, will draw strength from their unity with Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of David Halstead, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died, including Marta Greenwald, Anna Cavalier, and James Knapp, may rejoice as they join the communion of saints in the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For your own intentions held in the silence of your hearts and those of your sisters and brothers with whom you share at the beginning of Mass. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Father Raphael Martus. May he enjoy the presence of Jesus, whom he truly loved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you nourish your people with the true flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. Hear the prayers that we make at your table and bring us to eternal life with you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people form as one by the unity of the Trinity, make the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Señor mío, Dios mío. Tú eres mi Dios y eres mi Señor. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Señor mi Dios mío. Tú eres mi Dios y eres mi The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, John, our Bishop, the Auxiliary Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also David and our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to each other life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. pray to the Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take Jesus out through that exit sign. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Though I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Find the communion sung on the back of today's worship aid, Goodness of God. Let us sing together.
partaking the Eucharist, Lord, brothers and sisters. We take Jesus to our brothers and sisters and pray with them. And mighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Let us pray. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may marry also to be his couriers in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated. We are happy to welcome back our weekday preschool students. Changes in the parking lot, please follow the signage. Our Great Journey Faith Formation resumes next week, August 25th. Check out the class list posted in the Nordex. We encourage everyone to join sessions for preschool through adults. Four small group leaders are still needed. If you've been waiting for a sign, this is it. <laughs> Please stop by the display table in the Nordex. Thank you to all who have already volunteered. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.